You know, I make this video with a little bit of irony, I admit. When I was young, I could not imagine seeing an anime movie in theaters. I know, sounds strange, but keep in mind, I was a kid in the 90s. I didn't see My Neighbor Totoro in theaters. I saw on VHS the Fox dub. And I did not see Dragon Ball Z movies in theaters. They went on TV or they went straight to video. In fact, when I heard that they were movies, it didn't even... I, I didn't even grasp the concept that they were in theaters in Japan. And I remember when I found that out, I was pissed that I couldn't see them in theaters. And I realized how awesome that would be. I mean, really, the only anime you could see when you were a kid growing up with Pokemon, which, you know, I like Pokemon, so that was fun. But, you know, Sailor Moon, Dragon Ball Z, the Hayao Miyazaki films were limited release. So you got lucky if they came to the Sacramento area. Well, a few years later, we have Fathom Events. Anime is super, super popular. It's way more popular than it used to be. And as a result, you have movies like Weathering With You, which you think would be just regulated to the Fathom events, but they decided to get a regular theatrical run, and guess what? It made a lot of money. It made so much money, in fact, that they decided they were going to put it into IMAX and 4DX. Now, I will be seeing the movie in IMAX, God willing, later this week. But on Sunday night, I decided I was going to do 4DX. We were going to invite some friends who had not seen this movie. And the good thing about Weathering With You is that this is the kind of movie that has the kind of word of mouth money can't buy. Yes, I acknowledge Your Name is better. Guess what? A lot of people didn't see Your Name. You know what? It doesn't even really matter. You know what? Not every movie Steven Spielberg makes is as good as Schindler's List. Or E.T. for that matter. It doesn't matter. He still makes great movies, and this is a great movie, in my opinion. Even if it's not as good as Your Name. And it was big enough that they decided they were going to put it into 40X, so we invited some friends to go to the Irvine Spectrum to watch it in 40X, and the night, unfortunately, could not have been more of a disaster. Now, I'm making this video just because I need to vent. I want to stress, I'm not trying to get anyone in trouble. Although there was at least one little mistake on the staff's part, I believe the staff did what they could, and... It was just a bad situation for everyone all around. It is a very nice theater, even though they're currently remodeling. But they took very good care of us, and that will reflect in the story. But I do need to vent because situ situations where a movie like Weathering With You, it's not Dragon Ball, it's not Sailor Moon, it's not My Hero Academia, it's not Inuyasha, it's not anything that would be remotely recognizable to the general public. Weathering the View is a movie that has become like a surprise box office hit in America. Granted, it's like $7 million, but hey, when was the last time an anime made $7 million that wasn't Dragon Ball Z? Um, and they were decided to put it in 4DX. Now, I had to put something in this box below, so I put this thing where it's like Weathering with You 4DX Review, a near-perfect movie-going experience. Because this is a little ironic, and this is from MovieWeb, by the way, because my experience was far from perfect. It was a nightmare. And actually with someone with Asperger's syndrome, it was also extremely, extremely stressful. So here's the thing. Me and my wife already saw um, Weathering With You at the Universal City Walk. To a sold out audience, by the way, could not believe it. You know, little anime movie, not based off a brand name, sold out audience. I kind of suspected the movie would be a hit at that point. I was right. and It will probably continue to be a hit. It becomes a big enough hit that they decide they want to put it in 4DX and IMAX. And we decide we want to see it in as many formats as possible. It's that good. We have some friends who have never seen this movie. Now, what's more, they have never actually been to 4DX. This is the perfect combination. Also, it gives me a chance to test 4DX out in a way that I never had. See, all the movies that I have seen in 4DX have included 3D elements. I believe that is important because of the you know, 4D whole thing. Weathering With You does not have 3D effects. It's, it's a 2D movie with special effects, chairs moving. Now, I remember when I saw Hannah years ago in D-Box. I didn't like the experience because I felt that the moving seats actually took away from the experience. But with a 3D immersive environment, it kind of worked. I was kind of wondering if 4DX would, if that would hold true with 4DX since there was like special effects and rain and all that jazz. And I kind of assumed I'd get wet in this movie, by the way. So, we buy our tickets. We're going to be up late, by the way. And, by the way, it should be noted that the night already didn't start very good because I started getting like a little scratch in my throat. And it turned into a fever, so I was in bed for a couple days. <laughs> Fun. But anyway, we go there. And the movie starts. 
and nothing's happening. Like, first of all, it actually skipped the 40X intro where to kind of give you an idea like what is about to happen. It just jumps straight into the movie. So it's like jumping into like a normal movie. And I'm waiting for something to happen. And I see the camera moving. And the seats aren't moving. And there's no water effects even though it's raining on the screen. It's like, okay, what's going on? What What's going on? So I get up from the seat and I decide to go talk to someone. I say, hey, um, I don't think the 40X is working. And the guy's like, well, the movie starts at 8.15. It's 8.13 at this point. Well, yeah, but it's it's not working. The movie started and nothing's happening. And he's like, well, wait, give it a few more minutes and it'll probably kick in. All right, fine. This is actually like the first pro problem. In hindsight, I should mention that had this person taken the situation seriously and stopped the movie and restarted it and properly calibrated it, everything that happened afterwards would not have been a problem. This is the one time the staff, frankly, messed up. But I guess it happened. So anyway, I go back into the theater. Go to watch the movie some more. A few minutes go by. It's clear something should be happening. And there were people confused in the audience. Like, some, there were people behind us like who had never seen 4DX. were like, is something supposed to happen? Because, you know, 4DX costs a lot more money than a 2D ticket. Had we bought this in just a standard theater, $14 each of us. Because it's in 4DX, it's $25 for each of us. So to spend $25 and not have anything unique happen, that's bad. So I, I get annoyed and I I go out. I'm back out. I go back to the person and say, hey, 4DX is not working. You need to get some the manager or someone. So they call someone to see what's going on. I have to wait like five minutes or so. Someone comes up and I explain the situation. And I explain, look, I'm missing the movie and it's not moving. So he's like, okay, I'm going to go turn it, turn it on. I'm going to go see if I can turn it on. So he goes upstairs. Now, I expect him to come back. I do. But he doesn't come back. At that point, I text my wife, who stayed in the theater. I'm like, are the seats moving? And she responds, yes. So it's like, oh, great. Well, okay. Um, I guess I'm going to, I guess I'm going to walk back then. So I walk back. I run to the guy and he's like, is it working? And I'm like, well, I don't know, do you turn it on? And he's like, oh, I did. I'm like, well, why didn't you come back? He's like, oh, I thought you went back in the theater. It's like, well, no, I didn't want to go back in the theater. And I, I don't know. So it was a miscommunication there. He's like, oh, I'm sorry. Well, anyway, it should be on. It should be on. like, okay. So I go in, and sure enough, seats are moving. And we're watching it. And it's not even very long at this point. I have now missed about a half hour of the movie. And thank goodness I've already seen this movie because I was upset enough as it was. When I noticed, we got squirt with water, but there was no water in the scene. They were inside. And then at one point, there's rumbling. There's nothing happening on screen. Then I see the screen, like, actually shake. The seats don't rumble. It's like, my goodness. Darn it. They, the seats aren't calibrated. The, the seats are not calibrated with the movie. Now, at this point, the people behind me are fed up. They get up, they walk out, and they talk to that same manager. And I decide, you know, I got to go complain. And they go and they're like asking, hey, we need to get our money back. Because for most of the movie, it's not moving. And then when it starts moving, it's not, you know, it's doing random things. And we're not enjoying ourselves. So he gives them passes to other movies. While he's doing that, they ask me, is 40X usually this bad? And I'm like, no, usually 40X is awesome. Usually it's awesome. It's not working tonight. I don't know why, but it's just not working tonight. So they get their passes. They leave. And I'm pretty upset with the guy at this point. Um, so I, I tell him, like, this this is ridiculous. Like, we're now 40 minutes into this movie, and I, I've been missing it, and it either has not been working, like, it's not working at all, or it's working out of sync. So I need to cool down. So I say, I'm going to go for a walk. And then I'm going to sit down for a little while, and the movie's ruined at this point for me. The night is absolutely ruined. You know, it's the only night I can come to see this movie in this format. It's not going to be here next week, and it's and so rarely do you have an anime movie in 40X that it was just ruining the whole thing. So I, I took a little walk. I sat down in the in the um, lounge area. At, the, at this point, the manager actually goes into the theater and tells everyone 
we're turning off the seats and we're going to recalibrate them. We're going to try one more time, but everyone's getting their money back and we're going to give you passes for a future showing. So he says that. He goes out. He grabs me a drink, in all fairness. He got me a drink. And he says to just, hey, kick back, relax as much as you can. You're welcome to go back in the theater, but we're going to give everyone the money back and then we're going to give you passes. So, okay. At this point, I'm just so upset. So I'm just sitting in the lounge area, drinking my Minute Maid Light lemonade. Then my wife texts me, and at this point, an hour of the movie has gone by, and says, hey, the seats are finally in sync. Okay. So I get up, and I go to the movie. I sit down, and it's working beautifully. In fact... From this point on, the experience is exactly what this person writes about. The seats are moving at the right time. You're getting wet a lot. It's, uh, <laughs> everything is working. And by the way, I have found, the lightning is going off. And I find that 40X, even without the 3D, is pretty cool still. I still prefer it to be in 3D, but it still works pretty good. So I get to see the last hour of the movie. And in all fairness, this is when the 40X was really going to make a difference. Because this is the climax of the movie. Police chases, guns going off, weather going crazy, lightning everywhere. This is where the movie, this is where you really want it to work. And at this point, I am finally able to enjoy the movie. So the movie gets out. We go there. The guy refunds us our $100 or so, probably. And he gives us free passes, which we can go see another, um, we can go see another 4DX movie at Regal or an IMAX or whatever. We can also use this for like the cheap movies but i don't know why i do that especially when i have unlimited so at, this is like the first time i've seen like a dozen or so movies in 40x i have for the most part enjoyed all the experiences the first one i saw was mission impossible 6 loved that experience we also saw bumblebee uh fantastic um beasts 2 i did see the nutcracker and the four realms which was an underwhelming 40x experience it worked mind you it just was very underwhelming Bumblebee, uh, Star Wars, The Rise of Skywalker, it's, you know, I, I like 40X. It's expensive, thankfully the Regal app does cut a lot of that cost out, but I was really looking forward to seeing this, and at least I got to see half of it in 40X, and it's probably the important part, and it also means that I can now see the movie again in IMAX and not get too bored with it, because... Essentially, I've only seen the movie one and a half times, if you will. It was a very disappointing night. Although, again, I will say, with the exception of that minor hiccup with the staff member who, for some reason, didn't want to get the ball rolling, they did do what they could. They gave us free snacks and drinks, free movie tickets. They refunded us. So we did get, like, a free night out. And the, and the hour that we did see, well, the, actually 70 minutes, because it's a little longer movie than you'd think. The 70 minutes that we saw the movie that did work, worked beautifully. It's very frustrating when this happens, but oh well. Now, I did notice at that point after the movie that the next My Hero Academia movie was going to be in 4DX. So I decided, just because they treated us so good and they did what they could to make things better, I'm going to buy a ticket to that movie. So I have my ticket for... Um, the next My Hero Academia movie in 40X. Hopefully it will be an overall better experience. And I, I think I will enjoy Weathering With You one more time in IMAX. And I'll probably buy the Blu-ray. So this is a really good movie. It's still amazing that I didn't get any Oscar nominations. So anyway, that's that's just a little rant I had to do. I had to do that little rant because I have one of those stories. What do you do? You go to YouTube. But I'm not here to shame anyone. I don't want anyone to lose their jobs. In fact, if they asked would you come back based on this experience i would say yes i would definitely give them another chance i i mean in hindsight hindsight being what it is i probably would have recommended like hey once the issue was made known maybe it's time to stop the movie fix it bef and then go forward instead of trying to haphazardly course correct in the middle of everything but then, you know, they had a showing of Bad Boys 3 afterwards, and then you have to delay that movie. So there was probably just hope that they could save that movie at the very least. So maybe that was what they were thinking. I don't know. But anyway, 
I would like to know what you all think of this situation. Did any of you see Weathering with You in 40X? Did it go a lot smoother? Did I miss any any special experience in the first hour from this thing not working and dealing with the manager? I, I would personally love to know. So, comment below. Like, favorite, share, subscribe. And as always, flame responsibly. And I will see you next time, hopefully with a more happy story. Take care.